tis the season to save money. And uh, yeah, it seems like every time I turn around, there's a different kind of sale going on. Uh, this one is at GameStop. So any GameStop you go in, buy one, get one 50% off on anything and everything trading card games. Doesn't matter what it is. Your your Pokey, your, your Yu-Gi-Oh, your, your Magic the Gathering in this case. And uh, the total out the door for everything you're looking at right here was $76.08. So we're going to tally up the value and see if we can get that back. Journey with me as we go through the packs. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's do this. Hope everyone has fantastic time around the holidays. And if you're looking for to get something, uh, you know, for the holiday, what is it you want? You know, whatever it is that you may uh, be celebrating. Um, if you're looking for something, if it's just health, if it's a gift, you know, if it's a, a, a magic card, you know, if it's a new, uh, I don't know, a new motorcycle, I mean, whatever the case may be, you know, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Myself, I just want health, peace, and happiness. I know. I'm like one of those, uh, what, like, a, like a supermodel on the runway. So what, what would you wish for all of humanity? Um, peace, love, and skadoosh. Oh, 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 thrashing Bronodon. So anything 50% or any 50%. Any, oh, my goodness. Anything that is over um, 25 cents, um, I'm going to include. And we're going to tally up all the value as we go through this. Uh, yeah, let's do this, baby. Let's do this, Brutus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So we're on to the second pack already. I'm going to try to go through this a little bit more uh, quicker than usual. I know when we do get to uh, the collector packs, it's going to take a little bit of time, but... I can't believe how many sales are actually going on. If you just open your eyes a little bit and look around, I think I had about 10 different people uh, message me or tell me about this sale. So um, usually I'd give like a shout to someone who alerted me, but I mean, I was already kind of aware of it because it's an annual thing. But um, yeah, thank you to those people who uh, made me aware of this. Um, but yeah, I did this last year and the year before. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love doing it because you save money. You know, it's that cool. Oh, not a bad pack here. Aether Guest, legit. And Bishop of Wings. There you go. There was regular Throne of Aldrain packs on the shelf, but I just passed right by them. I'm like, you know what? Um, I'll pass on that. And uh, reason being, it's just basic Throne of Eldrain, I don't think they're worth the $4.50 or whatever it is a pack. You know, I think these were $4 a pack or something. Then you get, you know, your buy one, get one, so it's 2 bucks. I just don't think they're worth it, to be honest. Um, right now, at least, the Throne of Eldraine. Because of the mass printing with the collector packs, I think it just drove the price down on all the regular Throne of Eldraine cards. Especially, ooh, nice little pool there. Hooray! Um, especially with, um, all, yeah, just all the foils and everything that are in this set. It's, uh, it's a bit ridiculous, man. Oh, a foil Dragon Mage. We will take it. And I think the oversaturation just basically made the other card prices plummet uh, in, in value. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. Like, there's so many foils now. You know, some foils are actually worth less than the base card. That is true with some, like with some of the collector edition packs. That is true for some of those cards, mostly the commons and uncommons. But I never thought I'd see the day where a foil is worth less than the base card from a set. That's just something, like, unheard of, you know? I was, like, blown away when I actually discovered that. Uh, Blood-soaked altar. There we go. Barkhide troller. Come on, let's get something nasty here. Imperial eagle. Ooh, great card, though. But come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Chandra's regulator. Yeah, poopy. Well, there's that, I guess. What are you going to do? Uh, legit, though. We'll take it. <coughs> um, hopefully we get our value back out of this, because so far... It's not looking too hot, my friend. Got a nice wolf token. I will say I do love the tokens in this set um, from Corset. Ever since they started making them full art, I think that's really, really cool. And it's great way to send shape. So, yeah, there you have it, man. But, yeah, we need to step up the value here. We really do. Um, there was a lot left on the shelf. At the, uh, the GameStop I went to, there was a lot of packs left on the shelf. Believe it or not, Joey Moss is not rich, and I just couldn't afford them all. Um, but I picked up what I could, you know, to get a video for you guys, and also what I thought would have the value in it. So far, you know, it's all about the luck of the draw. Cryptic Caves and Mystic Forge. Not a bad pool. We will take that one. So a little bit of value there. 
Um, so average is like probably like around three dollars a pack if you average it all out for just the base ones. But I was lucky enough to come across the collector packs, and that, my friends, I thought was really, really, really cool. Because um, yeah, those are not cheap. Um, I think they came to about twelve dollars out the door for the collector booster packs. But yeah, just crazy awesome sales going on everywhere right now. If you hear about a sale, something I don't know about that's really good. I mean, it's got to be really good. You know, real juicy. Like something like this. This is a pretty good sale. Um, I would love to hear about it. You know, let me know about it in the comments for sure. Uh, and then I can maybe open something on the channel with it. Frost Links, Diamond Knight. There you go. And all that's glistening. That foil actually looks pretty cool, but it's not a foil. Blight Beetle, shutting down... Creatures your opponent's control can't have plus one, plus one counter decks. That's right. Rapacious Dragon. All right, come on. Something something nice. Dracusith Maw Flames. Wow. So the course that 2020 was not too bad. We did get that one Mythic. I think that's one of the more valuable Cavaliers. So overall, not too bad. I'm not disappointed. At least not yet. Demon Token out the door. All right. Let's start really juicing it up here. Time to get to the big boys. If you guys are still sticking with me. But it's Kadoosh in the comments. I appreciate it. Or, yeah, just tell me what you want for the holidays. You know. Uh, War of the Spark. Let's go, man. War of the Spark. Come on. Haven't opened one of these packs in forever, but I think on the channel we've opened about 12 boxes of War of the Spark. It's pretty crazy. The Fury's Time Twist. Really, really neat card there. Crawl the Lazatap. It's all about the Planeswalkers in here, baby. It's all about the Planeswalkers. That's not a bad removal. Target creature gets minus five, minus five, until the end of turn. If that if uh, that creature would die this turn, exile instead. If that was a two drop, man, that would be phenomenal. I'm just saying. That is greeting. Totally lost. There's Tibble. Doesn't know where he's going. Uh, he's always confused. Very confused. So, Leyline Prowler. There you have it. Angris Rampage. Not a bad card. The Wanderer. The Wanderer. Look, that's you. Well, that's me. At least that's what Mark Rosewater said. The lie! The Wanderer is somebody else. We're going to find out pretty soon, though. And Time Wipe. All right, so, uh, yeah, great removal. I'll give you that. Return a creature you control to its owner's hand, then destroy all creatures. Great, great card. Zorius would love running this in almost any one of their decks because it's that simply good. All right, Zombie, to or zombie Token and the Island. All right, War of the Spark. You did me a little dirty that time. So I'm going to need you to step it up here, Spark. Let's go. See if we can get out of this. Come on. Fingers crossed, baby. Come on. We're really juicing it up now. The Grim. The Toll. The Ah. The Mm. The Ah. Uh. Prism Realm. Love running this card. I really do. Um, yeah. Just uh, welcome. There you go. Prison deck. Check it out. Bond of Insight. Cool card as well. Very cool card. A lot of good cards came out of War of the Spark. Interplanar Beacon. I don't know why I thought that was rare for a while. But if you're running Planeswalkers, you are most definitely going to be running an Interplanar Beacon in your build if you're running a lot of them. Oh, my God. Speaking of Planeswalkers, look who pops out. Woo! Fresh out the joint. Holly Jolly. There it is. Karn, the great creator. Really cool card. Um, yeah, it, it does see a heck ton of play. Activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. So that shuts down a lot of artifact things. And then the plus one until your next turn, up to one target non. The creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness. Each equal to its give rid mana cost. It's minus two. You may choose an artifact card you own from outside the game or in exile. Reveal that card and put it into your hand. Ah, oh, yes. Totally lost. What did I tell you? This guy's totally lost. He just keeps coming back. He's like, ah, I'm back again. I don't know. Going in circles. You know, he's, he's just totally lost, man. There's nothing you can do. They both get help, man. Get help, my friend. Get help. Cool, we got a foil, though. Too bad it ain't worth a, worth a darn, but, you know, we'll take it. All right. Modern Horizons packs now. I can't remember the cost on these. Um, I guess I can browse really quick at the receipt. Let's see. Um, they were asking kind of a steep price, uh, $8.99. So I got it, the second one, for $4.49. Not too bad. They rounded up on that. That's shady. All right. Modern Horizons. Come on, Urza, show your beautiful little face, gorgeous. Let's go. Got to get that value. So far, I, I don't think we're doing too well, but we got the Throne of Hell Drain ones to go through, and that's where our money makers are at. We have our elephant token. That's right. Elephant token. Mm hmm. Stuff. Got one of these. Some art. And a snow covered forest. We'll take it. A little bit of value there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Scrapyard recombiner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's terrible right there. I mean, I just. I just Cabbage? My feelings are just 
busted right now. Oh my god. Oh, goof. Oof. All right. Uh, the first sliver, Old Flame. And Tallyman of Creativity. That's a tiny bit of value. We'll throw up on the board. All right. Other than that, though, out the door we went with, uh, yeah, we went to Pound Town myself. And there was nothing, there's, I don't think there's anything worth anything in the common slot. There used to be until, um, until the card was banned. Like, they printed a good card. It's all play everywhere, especially in, like, Pauper and all those other places. But then they banned it, and, and now it's, uh, the price just dropped. I don't think there's a single common over 25 cents. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, I don't think there's a single common in Modern Horizons worth over 25 cents. And that's a darn shame. What's going on with this guy? You all right? You got a headache? Probably. All right, moving along, moving along. Snow-covered forest, always welcome in this house. And Coriel Vampire, what kind of horse crap is that? Jeez, man, we just got punched right in the blues. Oh, man, that really, really hurt. Oh, gosh. Uh, Lava Belly Sliver, Shatter Assumptions, and Crypt Rats. Well, well that just really uh, that just really grinds my gears. I'm looking for that one common. No, don't see it. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, though. All right, let's do this. The big ones. The big kahunas, baby. Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster Packs. Oh, boy. Not cheap, my friends. But, man, I couldn't believe they were on the shelf. I'm like, what a great deal. Let's see, this one got ran over. It sure did. Look at that. It got ran over by the scratch truck. Every single one of these are just damaged up in the front. Unbelievable. I know, I know. You can see right here the mark right there. See on the bottom? Right there. And uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but all along the side, every single pack, every single booster pack they printed, the front card is damaged on collector packs. That is terrible. I mean, really, really, that is terrible. Fairy Guide Mother. Um, foreboding Fruit. Cool, cool. But yeah, this is an example of why Throne of Eldraine cards are not worth a whole lot. Um, the base ones. Because there's so many like of these collector... Like, they thought printing all these foils. There's probably as many Embereth Paladin foils like this that there are commons floating around out there. Think about it. They printed these in every, like, in every single Throne of Eldraine pack... You get a bunch of these commons that are foil, you know. I haven't seen a Lonesome Unicorn alternate art in a long time, so that's kind of cool. Probably worth like 30 cents. That ship hoopy. Oh, I forgot they put a C down here for common. What do you know? Learn something new every day. Mystical Dispute. So we got an uncommon. That's actually, if I'm not mistaken, a really good uncommon foil. Um, yeah, so we just got that. That just happened, my friend. That just happened. Once and Future. Nice little foil there. Look at this girl. A girl and her dog. Could be a boy. I'm not here to judge. You know? All right. Hypnotic Sprite. Alternate art. Fetching a few pennies there. We shall take it. Come on, baby. Do me good. Fairy Guide Mother. All right. Moving this uh, F truck along. Come on. Fairy Guide Mother with Smitten Swordmaster. Smitten Swordmaster. There you go. I feel like, like the, the alternate... There's barely a difference between the alternate and the, the base. Someone was like, I think you put the base up there, price. I'm like, it's the same price, man. Like, I'll show you guys on the screen. It's very close. Like, like it's ridiculous. Um, uh, the Smitten Swordmaster is a better card, though, for sure. But some of these, the alternate is worth the exact... Shimmer Dragon is worth the exact same or, or worth less or whatever, you know, or slightly more uh, than the base, which is ridiculous. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Shimmer Dragon. Um, I really want to make a deck around this. Got to get a lot of artifacts out. But then you're good to go, man. I was even thinking about maybe using, like, food, uh, the food tokens that are artifacts, you know, um, to do that. Pretty neat. Oath Sworn Knight in all of its glory. There you have it, my friends. Oath Sworn Knight. Is that damage? Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but the card is punctured. Slightly. I don't, there, you can see it right there. See that dot in the middle? Right there. Never mind my my uh, skin hanging from my finger there. Um, wow. Not cool. That is not cool. That surface would grade as like a 6 if you sent it into BGS. All right. Ulster Knight, cool card, but can we do better? Fervent Champion foil. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Would have liked to have seen some masterpiece there, but I'm not going to complain. That's right. Fervent Champion Foil and all of its greatness. Gorgeous. Great art on this card. 
gray art on that card. And a giant and food token. All right, so we, we've seen better days here. Oh, let's put these over here. Probably going to send that one back to Wizards. That's right, they deserve it. All right, come on. Last pack to crack. Can we get that good, good? Fling and all of its amazing damageness. Just want to show the camera. I think we all are aware of this now, so I'm not going to spend too much time anymore. There you go. We have it. All right. We got our Mistford River Turtle. He does things. That's right. Reeve Soul. All right. Out of the Grange. Come on. I just want... I, 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 I just want my two front teeth for Christmas. That's it. Silver Flame Ritual. Bada bing. Come on. What else? What else? Thrill of possibility. Thrill of possibility. I have braces. Did I ever tell you guys that? Uh, thrill of possibility. Cool card. I do like that. Not bad. Steel Claw Lance. All right. So uh, that's a better uh, better uncommon foil to pull for sure. I believe, at least. That's my opinion. Uh, equip. Yeah, there you go. Stuff. Things. All right. And we got Turn Into a Pumpkin. That's right. Get your butt home, Cinderella. That's right. Come on, baby. Glass Casket. Not a bad uncommon as well to pull. Is that a cat in there? What is that? Is that a... That's a fox. That's a fox inside of a glass casket. What did that fox ever do? All right. Giant Killer. Giant Killer. I don't know why this card's so cheap. Um, I, think, I think down the road it could go up, you know, for sure. Giant Killer's pretty legit. What else we got, baby? Look how off that sticker is. Ridiculous. Love Struck Beast. So that's good. I've seen this before. You got the Giant Killer and a Love Struck Beast. Back to back. Uh, solid pulls right there. I have no complaint about that. Love Struck's probably at least two bucks. We shall take it. And a Lonesome Unicorn. Worth a few pennies. All right. All the marbles, baby. Come on. Come on. Taste of death. More like taste of crap. Get that taste out of my mouth. All right. Not too pleased on that one. Uh, but hey, you can't win them all, baby. You can't win them all. Robber of the Rich totally redeems himself. All right, that was nice. That was that was really, really nice there. We're going to take that all friggin' day long. Not a bad little pool there. Very cool. Robber of the Rich. Come on, Masterpiece. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Give me that Masterpiece. Give me the Masterpiece. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Oh, Castle Lock, Dwayne Foil, though. Not too bad. All right, we're going to tally up all this value. See how we did. Um, I, I, in my opinion right now, I think we're like 10 bucks shy. Maybe 15, 10 or 15 shy. Castle Lockthlain Foil. All right. And the Human Warrior Food Token to end things. All right. What do we got? <laughs> Boosh! Hmm. Don't be stupid your whole life. I have no idea what it says. All right. But that's really, really cool. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you did, you know, check out these other videos I'm going to show you right now. They're pretty sweet. Skidink, skidink, skidoosh.